joining. Um, oh my god, I have just sat here for almost half an hour waiting for my neighbours to stop playing music at the loudest volume. Ugh. Jesus, almost half an hour just sitting outside someone's house with your music on and your van blaring. <sighs> Right, let's just start. So I had, um, oh, let me just tell you about today's pyjamas. Today's pyjamas are some of my very faves. Don't know if you can tell why. Megan. <laughs> Wood Woman. Um, these are some of my very favorite pyjamas. These are my Wonder Woman pyjamas. I think I got these from Asda years ago. Um, and we've got the uh, blue starry bottoms to go with it. I just said bottom. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is today's pyjamas avec the very snuggly pink star encrusted um, dressing gown. <laughs> or are you one of these that has an argument over whether it's a dressing gown or a house coat? Do leave me a comment and let me know what you call them. <laughs> dressing gowns around here. So that's that. Um, right, so I had the crazy idea of um, filming a video for you, you're welcome, every day throughout March and celebrating March as Makeup March. So the first video I thought I would do would be a skincare one because you really, really need a good canvas on which to apply your makeup. If your skin is healthy and um, is looking good and feeling good, then it's, it's half of the battle. You can pretty much get away with putting anything on top of it. If your skin is dry and not looked after and not healthy and um, it's just, I don't care how good at makeup you are, it's just not gonna look as good. Um, so, me being not the best at makeup, just very enthusiastic, I'm gonna do my best to give it a good head start on good skin. Also, I've battled my skin my entire life with eczema, sensitivity, dryness, acne. Oh no, but not your, not your standard teenage acne. Oh no, no, can't, can't just have that, can we? No, uh, she has to have adult acne, which so far has been going on about 15 years. So yeah, that's great. Um, but we're starting to get on top of it now and I firmly believe that's because I'm eating better, I'm drinking more water, I'm exercising more and I am being a lot more mindful of my skincare routine. Not perfect. I do go to bed sometimes without even thinking about my skin. Guilty as charged. But I am a lot, lot better and I think it shows and I feel like my skin is a lot easier to deal with. Um, so yeah, let's just crack on, shall we? So the first thing I'm gonna do in this little skincare routine is apply a face mask. And the one that I've chosen is one of my very favorites, purely for the gimmickery of it. This is one that I got from Primark. It's a hollow and glow pink sparkly face mask. It matches my dressing gown. It is literally pink with silver little stars and glitter in it. And I just love it. It's a peel off mask, which for me, um is really really good for getting rid of that kind of dry dull top layer it just takes off literally peels off all the like flaky dead stuff as well um so then when i go in with my cleansers and my serums and all the other gubbins that's going to go on there it's it's not having to kind of sit on top of that layer that needs to come off it's going to have a fresh layer to sink into and do its thing so let's just put that on shall we Oh, it's a new one. <sighs> Obviously, I need my little headband just to keep me, uh, my hair nice and out of the way. So once that's applied and you look like, as Minnie just referred to it, a unicorn has pooped on your face. That's totally the look I'm going for. Um, you want to leave it to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. It needs to be completely dry. So it's up to you what you do at this stage and it all depends on what you're doing, 
what time of day you're doing your skincare routine in. If you're doing this in the morning, you might want to go and make a cup of tea, you might want to go and get your breakfast, um, you might want to go and get dressed, like whatever, go and scream at your kids, do whatever it is you're doing. Um, I am going to, I think from that choice, uh, scream at my kids. No? Okay, they're not up for being screamed at this morning, apparently. <laughs> so let's just go and leave this to do its thing and we'll be back in a minute. Letters, blep your letters. We get bleps, bleps, bleps of letters. Oh, letters. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you so much. You know and the letter box goes bleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dokie, it's time to take this off. What did you do whilst yours were setting? I intended on sitting and relaxing and watching TV, but what I actually did was swept the floors and clean the kitchen, so... <laughs> right! Let us peel. This is the weirdest thing. masks you do find out where you've got a hairy face <laughs> there we go look see can you see that sheen is still there it's already taken off that dull layer <gasps> right so now we're gonna get on to cleansing <laughs> very excited about this bit so for cleanser i'm using this botanics cleansing balm which i take off with a hot cloth um and it's absolutely gorgeous i've only just myself got onto cleansing balms um obviously i've seen them being used over the years but on valentine's day i went to the spa for the day uh, and had an elemis facial there and she used uh, a cleansing balm on my face during the facial and oh my god it was so nice i literally went straight out to boots and bought this straight from the spa two boots um so yeah we're using the botanics one and this is the oh botanics in partnership with the royal botanic gardens in kew rose hip hot cloth cleansing balm it's absolutely gorgeous so we open her up and we don't need a huge amount oh it smells gorgeous oh Mm -mm. warm it up in your fingers and then just apply it all over and doing it this way as well will take off any bits of the face mask that are left on don't forget your neck oh god and it just melts into the most beautiful texture and because we've taken off that kind of top layer of all the dead cells and the dullness and any flaky bits then this can really get in and do its job okay so with the hot cloth cloth cloth, 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 cloth. Mm -hmm. with the hot cloth cleanser balm situation <gasps> it's blockbusters back on yeah no way um you do get a muslin cloth with it but I also just like to use a standard face cloth. So I've got one of my trusty face cloths that I get from Primark. These are about £1.20 for a pack of three from Primark. So just stock up every time you go in. And I will go and uh, wet this, rinse it out, and then just stick it in the microwave for a few seconds. And it turns it into a beautiful, luxurious hot cloth with which to remove your cleanser, open up your pores, and get them ready to sink in all that good stuff that we're about to put on them. Bear with Right, so now we've done that, it's time to tone, and I have just got on to the Pixie uh, Skin Treat Retinol Tonic. I love this. It's retinol and jasmine flower. It smells gorgeous without being overly scented. So if you do have sensitive skin, don't worry about it. This is absolutely fine on mine. Um, and it's just more got a really nice kind of high-end fragrance rather than being perfumed, if that makes sense. 
delete that. So, trusty enormous pack of cotton wool pads. Fun fact, I cannot stand cotton wool, so if it comes in any other form than this, I would be on the ceiling cringing right now. I can just about manage cotton wool pads. Ugh. Anything else? No. So just sweep this all over your face. Okay, so one of the skincare ranges I've been really, really loving at the moment is the Superdrug Vitamin E range. Um, so I'm going to be using a few of their products next. And the first one I'm going to be using is the Facial Oil. It is not clogging in the slider, so don't be worried about using an oil on your face. As I said, I do have very dry skin, and it, particularly at this time, going from... Uh, one season into another we're obviously going from winter into spring at the minute week by week i mean it's flitting round here between spring and winter backwards and forwards constantly right now um but when it goes from winter into spring and then when it goes from summer into autumn my skin really kicks off so i'm trying to so i'm trying to kind of catch it before it gets too aggravated at the minute so this is really really helping so just literally a few drops of the facial oil and i kind of start more on the outer edges rather than going straight in at that kind of t-zone area so the areas where i tend to get more dryness towards the outer edges of my face and down your neck don't forget your neck and then any residue i've got left I will take then into the center okay so then i've been using the facial serum from the super drug vitamin e range as well oh now bearing in mind i've used a cleansing balm I've used an oil and I've used a serum. There is no greasy residue on my face at all. It just sinks in really, really nicely. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the eye cream from the same range. Top tip when putting eye cream on, use your ring finger, not your index finger and not your middle finger because you will apply too much pressure. And we're under enough pressure, we don't need any more. So ring finger... Okay, and then I'm going in with the moisture cream from the vitamin E range from Superdrug and this has got a SPF of 15 as well, which we need. Can I just point out that's my dog snoring. That is not noises coming from me. That is Leonard. Okay, and the last thing in my skincare routine is my favourite. It's my absolute favourite product of all at the moment. The one that I can't, literally can't be without because if I can't find it, I have an absolute tantrum until I can find it. It's my NYX lip oil. I've only just discovered there are more in this range, so I'm just going to have to go and buy them all. Um, Obviously, we all know that I've had my lips done. Um, so one of the things in caring for those and helping the filler to last a bit longer is to keep your lips hydrated. And this for me is just the best at really, really plumping and hydrating the lips. So that's it. My skin is now clean, cleansed, nourished and ready for whatever is coming next. Um, whether that's putting makeup on, whether that's going and getting a nice eight hour sleep, what's one of those, I can't remember. Um, it's just now healthy, removed of any irritants and pollutants and um, is being nourished for the next few hours until I clean it again. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I really hope you will stick around for the rest of the month to see what else I'm gonna get up to. Um, if you haven't already, do make sure you've been unsubscribed down there and that you've given this video a thumbs up. Please go and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought and um, if you've used any of these products and if you can recommend any as well, that would be great. Um, make sure you share this video with all of your friends. Why would you not do? I mean, um, and I will see you next time. Have a great day, whatever it is you're doing. Bye!